I am recording this on uh, the night of May 30th, 2024, but you are not watching it until at the very earliest, maybe June 6th or so, uh, because I got myself a one-week um, suspension of posting privileges from YouTube. Uh, what, uh, so far, the punishment is I can't post or do some other stuff for one week, and I have the strike on my record for the next 90 days. Um, what I did to earn this punishment is, um, so, in a, uh, my, my video last night, I talked, uh, I mentioned Cleo from Topless Topics, uh, just because I was talking about something of relevance to her and her mission and whatnot. And like one does, I put in the description of the video um, a link to her website. So so anyone who was interested in what she does could you know follow the link. Good responsible media habit and... Um, then I got a note that the video couldn't, uh, had a problem, and I looked and they had basically blooped out the, they, they allowed the video to stay up, but they blooped out the part of the comment that had the um, Topless Topics URL in it, and... Um, I went ahead and deleted the rest of the thing. I thought that was all there was to it until I went to upload something later and it said, you can't do this. You have too many strikes. And, you know, I checked in and that, so even though they had left the video in place on the site and even though the offending line had been removed, um, the, the strike was still in place. And it's just, I mean, uh, Cleo over at Topless Topics has, is, devotes so much work to, um, as she puts it, exposing the absurdity of gender-based censorship one heinous female nipple at a time. I believe I got that right. And so um, she is, you know, advocating for um, equal, you know, men and women having equal rights. You know, the idea that two people can both not have shirts on, and in, in an ideal world, that would be equally legal for both of them, because the um, neither one of them has a chest that is inherently sexual or inherently nude. Um, and so, uh, and her, her website, while it has plenty of images of, um, her topless and sometimes guests topless that she has on her show, um, none of it is sexual. And so I get that, um, I get that YouTube would have a policy against linking to like porn sites and things like that because then their site kind of becomes a porn site in a way or just sort of the the front door to one uh, but it's just especially absurd that um, I can't even say look here is a website of non-sexual female presenting um, breasts perfectly visible on the body of you know a female person whatever I mean it's not a website of breasts it's a website about topless equality but um, it just seems like the website is so innocent in its intention um, and honestly in the result uh, it is not 
it's not a sexual website. Sometimes they talk about sex and sexuality, but it's not for the purposes of sexual gratification, as YouTube likes to say. And um, it seemed innocent enough that just pointing it out, mentioning where you could find this person, Cleo, who talks about some of the issues that I was talking about, um, that just seems especially absurd, just layers upon layers of just, you know, bullshit, you know, of what we, what, what we can and can't do as far as trying to, you know, be human beings with equal rights. And, uh, so yeah, this week I will take the, I will do the very interesting creative challenge of doing creative work every week, but not posting it, you know, just making some videos as I go along, which, uh, it's funny to think about because I was fiddling and accidentally, uh, hit the button on the remote control for the camera. Uh, how it's really a very new thing, this idea of taking, making audio-visual material and on an amateur basis and putting it out daily. I mean, obviously, you know, some, you know, television news and soap operas do that, but generally speaking, people who do, you know, make films, short or long, do not put them out every day, which is what I've been doing, and, and lots of other people do too. So it'll just be interesting to see what it's like going back to not posting stuff every day. And, uh, now I'm done.